Hi, my name is Peter Lenkoff, and this is my garage at the Finish Line Auto Club in Westlake. And uh, what I tried to do here was I tried to do something that was a little different than most garages. I tried to do something that really was uh, representative of my personality, something that was very uh, eclectic, very different. Uh, there's no real scheme in terms of collecting. It's just things that I like and things that I've coveted over the years. All right, this is 1960 Auto Bianchi. It's, um, I think it's about 499 cc's. It's a uh, two cylinder. Uh, I drove this car on Jay Leno's garage last year and Jay pointed out that these white walls are actually uh, an add-on. These are not real white walls. These are uh, just something that you put on more for aesthetics than anything. Um, it's a four speed uh, uh, convertible made by originally made by fiat and um and it's just a fun car it's a fun car if you want to uh drive around town you do not want to drive this on the freeway um but it's a fun car this is my 1958 uh, porsche speedster uh this was a car that i as a young boy really coveted wanted one very badly um you know everybody uh associates James Dean with these old Porsches, and I guess uh, everybody that's into cars uh, eventually wants one, wants to add one to their collection. And uh, I found this um, in Los Angeles in uh, pretty poor condition about uh, 10 years ago. Uh, had it, um, did a rotisserie uh, paint job on it. Uh, most everything is original except for the paint. Um, kept the seats the way they were, kept the steering wheel, uh, kept everything uh, as original as possible, just needed, it really just needed a paint job. Uh, maybe in hindsight, I probably uh, would have liked to have the patina on it, but uh, I think I'll get there because this is definitely a driver for me. This is my 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. If there was a car I never thought I'd own, this is it. Um, this is something as a little boy, uh, just like the Porsche Speedster, uh, I had uh, toys of, uh, drew pictures of, uh, had always thought that if I ever had the opportunity to get one, uh, I would uh, try to acquire one. This is uh, a car that was originally owned by Rex Harrison, who played uh, Dr. Doolittle. Um, and uh, it was when I bought it, I bought it at auction and it was a complete uh, um, redo of the car. Everything uh, down to the nuts and bolts was redone. And uh, I think that um, common sense would say to just have this car on display. I actually do drive it uh, regularly. It drives like a modern car. Um, it's a lot of fun, gets a lot of attention. Uh, which is not so great sometimes, um, but it's uh, it's one of those cars that I think that if you have a collection, uh, it's one of those cars that would definitely be the uh, centerpiece of, of of it. This is a uh, 1960 Alfa Romeo, Romeo 2 Auto 22. It's a small bus. These vehicles were used as track vehicles to uh, transport crew uh, around the racetrack. This one started its life, I believe what I was told uh, was in South uh, Africa with missionaries. And um, I found it uh, in this condition in uh, Paris, France, had it shipped over. Uh, don't drive it that much, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's pretty mint condition. Uh, I think I was told that this may be the one of two that's uh, that's left in the United States right now. And um, it's really a special vehicle. It's, uh, it's really easy to drive. Uh, obviously, if it fits a crew, it could fit a family. And, um, and it's a lot of fun. This is a 1941 Harley-Davidson service cycle. 
Um, it is in original condition, except for the uh, service part of it, which was redone. Uh, I found this bike at Heroes Motors in Los Angeles. Uh, they have probably the best collection of vintage bikes. I've driven this a few times. The history with this bike is that it was supposed to be a Louis Vuitton uh, delivery vehicle in Paris. And I like to believe that that is true because um, it says so on back, but uh, you never know with these bikes, but it's, you know, really original and, uh, and it drives and it's, uh, it's uh, a real testament to uh, American made uh, motorcycles. This is 1972 Ferrari Dino GT246, coach work by Scaglietti. Uh, it's a car that I bought um, at auction a few years back. Don't have a long history with it. Been driving it uh, pretty sporadically. It's a really fun car for me. This is really the uh, best looking Ferrari or vintage Ferrari out there. And uh, a car I've always wanted car that I think in this color is particularly uh, beautiful and um, despite the fact that it looks pretty pristine uh, I do take it out a lot. This is a 1962 Triumph Tiger Cub. This bike was in pieces on the living room floor of MacGyver, a TV show um, I did. Um, and this was a bike that uh, the main character, MacGyver, played by Lucas Till, was assembling over the first three years of the uh, series. Um, it was a bike we bought, assembled, took apart, put around in pieces uh, on the floor of his uh, home. And, um, and uh, it was actually my bike that I bought, uh, donated it to the show, and, uh, and here it is now. This is a 2009 Harley-Davidson Crossbones. This was the bike that was driven by Chin Ho Kelly, played by Daniel Day Kim, on the series Hawaii Five-O. For the first uh, five years, or maybe almost six years, I think we went to an electric bike in the seventh season. Um, but this is the bike that he drove on the show. This was a bike that uh, was also owned by me that I donated to the show, and when, um, when the, sh when the show ended, I ended up having the cast sign the gas tank and uh, brought it here for my collection. And uh, the plan is to uh, one day auction it off for charity. I think one of my uh, favorite pieces of my collection are these sunglasses here that were originally owned by Steve McQueen and were given to me by an actor named Larry Minetti. Larry played uh, Rick on the original Magnum PI and uh, as Larry tells the story, he was, uh, I believe it was Chicago, at a hotel. He saw Steve McQueen. They ended up in an elevator together, and he complimented McQueen on the sunglasses, and McQueen took them off his face and gave them to Larry. And about three or four years ago, Larry gave them to me, knowing that I was a big Steve McQueen fan. Another piece that I'm really proud of is this letter by Sterling Moss. Um, and this is goes back probably about 10, 11 years ago, uh, I found out that his wife, Susie, was a big fan of a TV show I did called CSI New York. And um, I sent her some uh, swag and some signed scripts and uh, he started sending me some gifts. And uh, this letter is something that I truly treasure, uh, having been a huge fan of uh, Sir Sterling Moss. And um, just wanna say, Thank you for uh, coming to my garage today. My name is Peter Lenkoff, and it was a pleasure having you.